Angels abound at Christmas. Topping our Christmas trees, we have one here in our own sanctuary. An angel at the top of the tree. Angels circulate on Christmas cards. They blow trumpets, they pluck harps, and they sing in the Christmas carols. And often, they flutter their little wings across the stage at the Christmas pageant. Angels are the handiwork of God. They are fascinating to most of us. God created them to bring messages, to minister, to encourage, to warn, to avenge, and to protect. Angels are all around us. They watch over us. Just imagine, we all have angels watching over us. Messages from God came in different ways. Sometimes we hear God himself clearly speaking to us in the stillness of our hearts. Other times, he will send other people to share a message with us. But in this case this morning, the message came through an angel. Just imagine in the little town of Bethlehem. It was still busy in the late evening with all the hustle and the bustle of the people who had come and gathered as the king had commanded for the census. And up in the hills, it was so quiet, except you could hear the shepherds calling to the sheep and gathering them in from here and from there for the night. And all of a sudden, an angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, and he is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Can you imagine the glory of the Lord shining around. I'm sure that the shepherds thought they were the only one in existence as the glory shone from those angels and they heard the angels speak. Good news of great joy. Not for one person, not for one town, but for all the people. And that meaning is the same, even for us today, 2,000 years later and counting. This is indeed the most important event in human history, the birth of Jesus Christ. Luke 2 and 14 tells us that the host of angels announced his arrival. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, goodwill towards men. I can't remember what year it was, but many, a number of years ago now. Um, in the old sketchbook for the home league. Uh, many people would send in their programs that they would be published in these books. And a woman from Birchie Bay, actually, in Newfoundland, sent in this uh, poem. And it says, He Came. And I want to share these words with you this morning. Christmas reminds us of Jesus. A time when he first came to earth. He came as a babe in a manger to bring peace and goodwill to earth. His coming was not 
had to broadcast on radio what was announced by the heavenly host to shepherds on the Judean hillside and wise men from the east. Let's keep Christ in Christmas. He came to bring us hope. He gave us the gift of salvation. He's the reason we celebrate. By Marion Late of Birchie Bay, Newfoundland. This morning we are reminded of the presence of the angels. We're reminded of the birth of Christ and we're reminded of the salvation that he brings as he fulfills the purpose of his life. Even 2,000 years later, the message is the same, that he comes to save the world. And many of us have already accepted Christ into our hearts and lives. Many of us live daily to glorify his name and to live his example, but still many do not. And time is nearing his return. And we want all our loved ones, don't we? We want them all to spend eternity with us, with the Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. And we need to continue to pray for their salvation, to pray that their eyes will be opened, that they need the Lord Jesus Christ in their lives. And pray that the angels will continue to surround them and to be a presence, presence in their lives, that they would give their hearts to the Lord. This morning, let me remind you that God made available to each and every one of us a peace that can overflow our hearts. A peace to fill the entire being and to be shared with others. And it's a peace of joy, a peace and a joy of Christmas through the message of the Christmas angel. What a message, what message is angels of the Lord delivering to you today? What is Christmas all about for you? He wants you to accept his gift, the gift of his love through his son, Jesus. A gift to deliver you, to uplift you and to save you and to keep you. God's greatest act of love was to send Jesus and for Jesus to die for us. Our greatest gift to God is for us to share with others how much he loves them and the greatest gift he gave the world. The only hope for this dark world is Jesus. The birth of Jesus Christ should motivate us to praise and worship God, just as the angels say, glory to God in the highest. Angels from the realms of glory, win your flight o'er all the earth, ye who sang creation's story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship. Come and worship, worship Christ, the newborn king. This old carol is such a simple but powerful reminder of all who have been invited to celebrate and to worship Jesus. Jesus is the most amazing given, gift given to us. God loved us so much that he sent his only son, to come into eternity, 
to, into humanity so that we could have the chance to be right before a holy God. That is the power of Christmas. And the angels understood it. The shepherds experienced it firsthand. And the wise men, they believed it. They not only joined the, the worship celebration, but their excitement and worship inspired others to do the same. This Christmas, let our worship be so authentic and exciting that we would draw others to come and worship. To come and worship. Worship Christ, the newborn King. <laughs> 